हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हरी द मरीनर हरी द मरीनर यूट्यूब चैनल में दोस्तों आपका हार्दिक स्वागत है नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग मैग्रेगर कार्गो क्रेन यू सी दैट वंस वी आर इन द पोर्ट सो वी वॉन्ट टू लिफ्ट दैट हैच कवर ओके यू कैन सी देर इज द हैच कवर डाउन ओके so we want to lift that uh, middle one hatch cover that is 34 ton you can see this 34 ton okay so this hatch cover we cannot uh, lift up okay so other hatch cover we can lift up 26 ton so alarm is coming here overload you can see this is the overload this light is on so after that uh, i found uh, the now you are Jeep position is uh, already here, like this. Okay, to lift that middle hatch cover. Already here, we don't have the any angle. Okay, so our Jeep position is already here in the cabin, like this, to lift that hatch cover. Okay, middle one thirty four, so that we cannot lift up this hatch cover. So after that, I suspected that we suspected. there is a problem with overload protection okay so what is the overload protection that i will going to explain by using the circuit diagram in the macgregor crane they are providing the limit switches uh, sorry pressure switches for the overload you can see here are the pressure switches for the overload in the macgregor crane so which pressure switch is overload i can understand by only the drawing so i suspect we suspected that this is the problem with the overload protection switch okay so before that uh, checking the overload pre uh, pressure switches i check this is our uh, main motor and this is the hoisting and lowering pump okay this is the hoisting pump okay this is the hoisting pump so maybe uh, we suspected that there is not enough oil in the tank you can see the tank is down there hydraulic oil tank so we suspected that there is no enough oil but after checking that oil level we found that oil level is okay so after that we suspected there is a problem with maybe the pump you can see this is the pump for up and down up means hoisting and down is for the lowering so this uh, hoisting pump we have here too because we need a uh, too much pressure to lift the load okay so who we need too much pressure so i decided to check the hoisting pressure you can see here this is the point you can check the hoisting pressure okay here you can check the hoisting pressure just remove this one and uh, put your pressure gauge so once i check the hoisting pressure you can see in the video i will put here video you can see hoisting pressure is going more than 400 bar so it is enough pressure to lift that hatch cover 34 ton but still we cannot lift the hatch cover so 400 bar you can see in the video okay now already you see that in the video 400 bar is enough pressure to lift so still we cannot lift the hatch cover as per the manual i check there is only 260 bar 260 bar you can lift the hatch cover you can see after that uh, once we rectify the problem we see, uh, see hatch cover was lift only 260 bar okay so now pressure was 400 bar still we cannot lift the hatch cover so i decided to check the circuit diagram 
you can see this is the overload protection circuit diagram this is our uh, ct2 panel this is the card okay this is the overload uh, card this is the card you can see here in the ct2 panel okay this is the card okay so how the signal is coming to the overload we can see here uh, maybe i check uh, this force limitation for parking this pressure switch 1314 was uh, uh, activate so 1314 you can see here 1314 pressure switch so i decided to check by using the bypass so we bypass this uh, 367 to the 320 still we cannot lift the hatch cover so i decided uh, to bypass or uh, to check the uh, 36 ton you can see that this is the pressure switch 1313 1313 36 ton so we try to bypass 369 to 367 so where we will bypass this you can see in the ct2 panel you can bypass all this terminal strip okay this is the terminal strip you can bypass here okay by checking the number so after that 1313 we bypass you can see 1313 pressure switch is here after bypass 1313 will still cannot lift the hatch cover so after that we bypass this 40 ton 1312 1312 you can see here 1312 okay pressure switch after bypass this one also we cannot after try to bypass 1311 also we cannot after 45 ton uh, bypass this pressure switch also we cannot lift the hatch cover so we decided to bypass 361 to the 367 okay still we are not lift, able to lift the uh, edge cover so if suppose there is a problem with 36 ton and this pressure switch if you bypass 369 367 so you can decide that 1313 that is 1313 here you can see this pressure switch is faulty so you can easily replace and remove the bypass so for checking only you can bypass but you cannot bypass this one permanently and you cannot do the operation because your safety will be bypass so don't do this one for checking only you can bypass so after that bypass from 361 to 367 still we not lift the hatch cover it means there is no problem with the pressure switches so i decided to check this aa k1 in the ct2 panel just try to bypass from 367 to 220 still we are not lift up the hatch cover so what is the problem you can see 369 uh, limit switch uh, that bl1 in the down bl1 in the down you can try to check whether this switch uh, limit switch is okay or not even i check 9c and say this 9c is normally closed okay so if any a problem this will be open and this switch will be bypass so still you are uh, this bl1 this limit switch will supply uh, supply to this uh, relay okay uh, this uh, card but this uh, limit switch bl1 is okay bl1 this one is also okay so we decided to check the manual and we found that what where we have mistake we done you can see a uh, key switch is used to select desired combination of tonnage and outreach but here we don't found any key switch for example 45 turn to 425 meter 40 turn to 48 meter 32 turn to 4 to 32 meter but after that we decided to just lower the jib means luff out the jib from here now our jib is already here so we decided to slowly lower the jib and try to lift so it means that we are at particular angle we cannot lift that much load so we change the angle of the jib then we suddenly lift this 
34 ton hatch cover easily okay so like this uh, you can solve the problem very easily so sometime if somebody face this problem you can just change the angle of your jeep train jeep so you can lift the load so this train is designed for that uh, uh, minimum and maximum outreach at which that angle okay so you can rectify like this problem for the overload protection thank you very much